Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of DND &D Cross. Today, uh, as you can see in the background, I did a little bit of work off camera, and I just kind of lost some of our, the um, the render on it, and so I kind of lost half of our episode here. But with that, we will just make what I was going to make as the next episode, as this episode instead. Um, as you can see, we have a giant nether portal here and a kind of like a crescent shaped hill. Um, this is going to be a graveyard in honor of the end of October and with that the end of spooky season. It's going to be an optional area meant for um, the, the an end game, that's the word, end game of the players and it's going to be meant for, I think we end up going with five legendary characters and the lore behind them is kind of a secret that the players can find on their own if they're smart enough it's going to have a mausoleum over there in the right there and it's going to be the center focus of the whole build which is where a boss fight will ensue for the players and it's going to be an end game thing so but also an optional area so these our players can fight them whenever they want and it's really up to them if they want to uh, go at it early or not. Um, as you can see under the water here, our voxel sniper didn't really doesn't work underwater. And so I'm gonna make a rule is that the players can't swim, and I think it's okay to make that rule because our players will be wearing armor. Armor is heavy, and you can't really swim in that. So they're gonna need a boat, and I think that will protect this island pretty well. Because the only way I want them to be able to access this island is through the nether portal. And only if they can find it. So, it's really up to them. But, I think that we are just gonna, like, start doing... Just start doing the, um, a fence around it. And then we'll also go into making some of the graves. And then, before we make the mausoleum, we will reconvene and talk about it a little bit more and then get to work on the mausoleum. So, also, if this is a little bit awkward of a clip, it's because I'm voicing it over. So, hopefully that's okay. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy the time lapses. And we'll reconvene in a couple minutes for you and a few hours for me.
Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the time lapse that we did. As you can see, I added a few trees because it was feeling a little barren, and we only have five graves here, so we kind of. I wanted to leave space in the middle. Um, considering the players are going to be doing a boss fight, I was going to add some rocks around here and make it look a little bit more jagged and also give the players a place to hide from boss attacks. Um. I also, I kind of had to bail real quick on that because I was making these trees and realized that I had leaf decay turned on, so I needed to install something that stopped leaf decay. Um, I think we saved most of the trees, but you can see there's just decay all over, which is, which is all right. Um, each of these graves has a, some lore behind it, and you might have seen some stuff in the uh, time lapse that we did that... Uh, may hint to where the lore is found and how to find it. Um, let me know if you guys found it in the, or saw it, I guess, in the comments. Uh, but next we are going to be working on the mausoleum. This is going to be kind of the centerpiece that keeps the whole thing together. Um, I want to make it relatively large. It might stick out above this a little bit. Um, and then we'll cover it up with rocks at the end because I am not making a ceiling of a mausoleum, that's for sure. And let's get rid of these. And then we'll push it back back here. Um, the mausoleum doesn't have to be the largest. Um, it just has to be big enough to spawn a giant boss. Uh, let's go through some of these graves and just kind of show you guys around them a little bit here. Um, we've got this one. Oh, logs. Okay. Had the roots turned off, but it looks like Ooh, okay. It looks like the roots stunk, snuck out a little bit. But we have that one right there, and then this one. If you notice, all of these crosses are upside down, and all of these dead creatures, or demons, or gods, or whatever you want to call them, are old players. And that's I, all I will give you guys on that. And each of them kind of has a characteristic to them, um, as you can tell. If you guys have guesses as to what any of these might be, let me know down in the comments that as well. We have that one, and then we have this baby right here. So there's five of them, meaning that five adventurers, and yeah. But, with that, I think that I'm going to start the mausoleum here, 
and I hope you guys enjoy the next time lapse that goes on. I think right after the mausoleum, we might do our end of the episode uh, walkthrough here. That one might be pretty quick because it's a pretty small area. Um, yeah, so if I don't have a chance to talk to you guys again, um, have a good night. And I will see you when I see you. Peace, peace.